Paul, uh, it's performances and points we need at the moment, isn't it? We really need to get something out of Friday's game. Yeah, we do. The, the two big games, obviously, obviously, over the Christmas period, in respect of um, you know the, the opposition that we're playing and, and where where both teams are as such. Um, so for us, it's a it's a big game and, and one that uh, you look forward to. Just been talking about the need to make a good start. It's been absent in so many games, especially at home. Any reason why that is? What as a coach? What what yeah, can you point it? It's, it's very difficult to to point your fit or to to uh, you know to exactly um, decipher and really what what uh, what the main issue is. And obviously, it's uh, a combination of, of one or two things. But we need to try and get to the bottom of it, trying to uh, try to address it. You know, in terms of the tempo that we play at, especially in the beginning of the games, um, put the opposition on the back foot, and make sure that we uh, we get off to a good start. We try and get our noses in front. Know, however long that might take, you know, whether it takes 15 or whether it takes 55, it doesn't matter. You know, you've got to make sure that um, we try and get that first goal at times, but without being um, desperate to, to get it, you know, you still got to try and play football and make sure that you keep to a to a structure and that you don't get opened up. And maybe at times we've been overly keen uh, and we have been sort of caught perhaps on the hop a little bit in terms of the counter, and and that's enabled. A team to sort of get their their foothold in the game and sort of there's no doubt about it the goals change games you know you can be having a, a good spell but you don't turn that good spell into into a goal and, and, and sort of uh, grow from there then it uh, it can come back to, to haunt you in that regard obviously we won't have Isle on Friday but hopefully fingers crossed we might have Guion Edwards back in the fold yeah Guion's trained and we're gonna have to see how he, obviously he reacts over the next sort of 48 hours um, but um, he's made a Incredible recovery. He's worked extremely hard. He's had to go through quite a, a degree of, of pain and discomfort, not just um, you know in his rehab, but also you know now in terms of him actually getting back onto onto the pitches and training. And um, if anybody's ever had that operation or is aware of it, then obviously it's it's from a central area, and, you, and you, whichever way you turn, twist, kick, um, you know it, it can be painful. So. You know, credit to Guion for getting back so quickly, and I, and I think it, it emphasises with the likes of Ryan and people like that how quickly they've, they've made their, their recoveries and, and, and gone through pain to, to get to this stage. In terms of the Christmas period, two games in 48 hours, it's, it's a big ask for a, a, quite a small squad. Yeah, it's huge, and, and people talk about, oh, you know, and people are not being tired, but you know, if, if, um, if you want. Um, the optimum performance, you know, you have to be in, in the in the peak physical condition, and um, you know, science says that um, 48 hours after a game is is the most vulnerable time for for any player. So it it is a big ask, and if you've got you know a whole group to change or you've got a number of changes, then it, it makes life a little bit easier. Um, you know, we don't have that option, but um, certainly the players don't want for for wanting to play and, and for giving all giving their all in, in the main. And I guess they've all got to be prepared over the next, over those two games to be to, to play because it, I doubt if it's going to be possible to play the same eleven both games running. You you, uh, you go into the first game and, and if people take knocks, you know you you don't have any time to recover. And if um, you know if it's a particularly demanding game physically for any one particular person, that can take a lot. Especially if they go into the game with any kind of cold flu symptoms, it can it can really have a an adverse effect, so you know we need to make sure everybody, everybody's in, in good condition, and they've been, um, you know, worked hard this week. But obviously, they, they make sure that they've recovered and they're in as good a condition as we can take them into into the two games in the three days. I guess confidence not great with the run we've been on, but I sense a good mood among the players today. Um, that's but that's got to be transformed third, obviously, into into performances and and results. I think that you know you, you give the players credit where it's due in respect of the way that they train and in, in, in the spirit they have amongst the group uh, as many knocks as, as you take along the way and like you say we've come off the back of sort of six unbeaten then all of a sudden you've just gone into a couple of games where you know you've lost um, at Bristol City in a, in a narrow game and, and won against obviously the best team in the division and it was a tight affair obviously the disappointment of, of the home game but again you haven't you have uh, a chance to, to draw level as, as poor as we did play in, in that game. So, you know, you have to take the positives, but you also have to analyse and you have to be constructively uh, criticise and sort of uh, deal with the issues that, that, that need deal, dealing with with regards to, you know, the goals that we've conceded and, and how we go about sort of rectifying that in the future. Late, late Norian on, on Boxing Day, I mean, they were playoff uh, 
finalists of course last year now they're second or third from bottom in the table been a huge turnaround in, in the management of the club there uh, are you surprised to see them where they are on the table I think when you when you look around all the divisions when when teams have upheavals whether it be management players it, it, it's it's in, you know it's uh, consistent in terms of how difficult and how long it actually takes for things to actually settle down and get some kind of consistency and some kind of um, form and, and confidence it takes time to, to build those and um, you know you've seen a club really like you say come off the back of uh, of the playoffs and come into it and struggle and, and have a little bit of a hangover and, and that then brings about a change at, um, at the top of this at this uh, club in, in respect of Leighton Orient and um, they found it difficult to sort of to pick up and carry on where they left off last year for sure. So two sides perhaps well desperate for for a, for a victory on on uh, Friday, isn't it? Isn't it really? Yeah, I mean we we we, uh, we want to go there. We want to put in a good performance, but we want we want to take away the three points. That's the most important thing. But I think they go hand in hand in that respect. And um, we've never lost the Leighton. I want four wins out of four, so it'd be great to carry on that record. We, that, that's that's obviously what everybody wants, and we're certainly working hard towards that. And and um, hopefully on the day we can come away with those points.